Hello everyone, I'm Mandolin, and today I'm going to show you how to do the Medium Sears Villas Achievements. So for this set of achievements, you're going to have to do the Scorpion Catcher quest and one small favor, and you're going to have to at least start the Elemental Workshop quest. For your skills, you'll need 48 Agility, 46 Fishing, 46 Summoning, 45 Magic, 45 Fire Making, 43 Cooking, 40 Range, and 30 Mine. If you're on Iron Man, you'll need 42 crafting, but that's only to make a fishbowl. You can get that as a drop from monsters like Water Fiends, so you may not even need that level. And for your items, you'll need a normal shield bow and any arrows to use with it. You'll also need some maple logs, and either a pyre lore pouch or a regent pouch. And like I said before, you'll need a fishbowl, which you can either craft using 42 crafting or get it as a drop from monsters. You'll need some seaweed, which you can easily get on our way, and a thousand archery tickets. If you don't have that already, I'll show you how to get those later on. You'll also need at least one law rune and five air runes to use the Camelot teleport spell. And you'll need a battered key from the elemental workshop quest that can be on your key ring. And optionally, you'll need 224 coal. If you already have that in your metal bank, take that out and put it into your bank. If you don't already have that, you can get that easily as we go along. You'll also be fighting some enemies throughout this, so you might want to bring some food if you think you need it, and make sure to bring some gear and another weapon. So to get started, we're going to go to Sinclair Mansion. If you've unlocked Fairy Rings, you can either use the code CJR, or you can just teleport to Sears Village and go north. For this achievement, you're going to go to the shortcut. So head past the Sinclair Manor and go to the shortcut to the north. Cross over the log and you'll get fleeing the scene. Next, using your runes, teleport to Camelot. Just doing that teleport will get you it's only a model achievement. Now go back west into Sears Village. Make sure you're in the village for this next one. Summon whatever pouch you brought with you. And then use it to light your maple logs. Just use your maple logs on the familiar. Doing that will get you familiar fire familiarity. Now go to the southern house in the village and climb up the ladder. Keep climbing all the way up. Reaching all the way to the top will get I can see her my house from here. Now climb back down and go to the northern house. Click on the wall in the back to go into the elemental workshop. Here, you'll need to kill at least one of each of the four elementals here. So just go around to each of the sections and kill one of each. Killing all four will get you mastering the elements. Once you're done, climb back up and go back into the village. For this next achievement, you have two different options that you can do. If you already have 224 coal in your bank, grab all that you can and go to the building to the northwest. Use your coal on the coal truck here, 
and you're going to keep doing that going back and forth between the bank and here until you've deposited 224 coal. But if you don't have 224 coal, you're going to have to go west to the coal mine. If you have coal stolen spirits, bring those with you. Cross over the agility log to get to the site. Here, you're just going to keep mining coal and it'll automatically deposit to the coal truck. For mining all the coal you need, you'll get the King Coal Achievement. Now teleport back to Seer's Village and go south to the Ranging Guild. Enter the guild and go up the ladder in the middle. Up here, you need to kill at least one archer on each of the four towers. You need to do this with your shield bow and it has to be a regular one. Although you can attack them with any other kind of bow and then just do a finishing attack with the regular shield bow. You'll also want to pray range for this. As you're doing this, you want to make sure you kill them all before going back down the ladder. Otherwise, you'll have to start it over again. Finishing that will get you the sniper training achievement. Once you're done, go back down the ladder. Head over to the archery competition range. If you already have a thousand archery tickets, you can just talk to the competition judge. But if you're on Iron Man's, you'll have to enter the competition. Just equip the bronze arrows they give you and keep clicking at the target. Just keep doing this until you get a thousand tickets. Depending on your range level, you'll need to spend about 10,000 to 20,000 coins total for all the entrance fees. Once you have a thousand tickets, just talk to the judge and you'll get Arc Archer. Now with the tickets you just got, head on over to the Ticket Merchant. Just buy anything you want here. The cheapest thing is the Coif. Doing that will get you the What? No Cuddly Toy achievement. Now leave the Ranging Guild and go southeast to the tower. Head inside and go all the way to the top. Talk to Thormac about enchanting battle staffs. Just talking to him will get you it's a slightly magical stick achievement. Now teleport to Catherby. If you don't already have seaweed, go ahead and buy that for Marhine to the south. Otherwise, go to the fishing shop. Fill up your fishing bowl at the sink. And then put your seaweed inside of it. With that done, talk to Harry. Choose the second option to ask if you can get a fish for this bowl. Choose the first option to buy the tiny net from him. Now click on the aquarium to get a fish, and you'll get at least a dozen need walking. Now go east to the beach and look for a net and harpoon spot. Choose the net and try to catch a bass. Once you have a bass, go west to find the range. 
You're gonna have to cook the bass and it can't burn for this achievement so you might want to bring extra or get some cooking gloves. Cook the bass up and you'll get all your bass. Once you've finished all of the medium achievements, go to the coal truck site and talk to Stankers for your reward. For finishing the medium task, you'll get the Sears headband too. When wearing it, you'll get 10 extra experience per log when cutting maple trees. And using the Sears Village spinning wheel will be 33% faster. It'll also act as a medium light source. And at all times, you'll gain an additional 30 flax per day from Joffrey and coal trucks will hold an additional 28 coal. Alright guys, and that's going to be all for this video. If you found it helpful, it'll mean a lot if you gave it a like. Check the link in the description for a guide on how to do all of the other Sears Village achievements. Thanks to all of our patrons for your support, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!